this is going to be a video about the Eshin TX01 that I got from Banggood. And just out of the box, it's just simply some instructions, the camera, and a, a cable adapter. Plugs in like this, and plugged in like this. So I am planning to use this guy on my Tiny Whoop, and I was just playing around for 10 minutes, and wow, this guy is actually really good. It has a lot of features for just this one button. So you see all these numbers and letters flashing. So first, it says 4, E, and then equal sign. So I'm on channel 4 on band E, and the equal sign means the TX power is on right now. So I'm on band E right now, and if I want to scroll through the 8 channels on band E, all you gotta do is simply press once, twice, three times, four times, until you're on that channel. So this button here is not that very good. It's kind of squishy. It doesn't have a click or any type of haptic feedback other than the screen changing. So that's how you change channels. To change bands, all you gotta do is hold it for two seconds. It will start displaying um, letters. So you got E, you got F, you got R, you got A, B. So for any reason you wanna turn off the transmitting power, you can. So all you gotta do is simply hold the button for five seconds. And here you just simply ignore the band until you see the equal sign. So press in between the equal sign and zero. So zero means off while the battery is plugged in. So say if you want to work on your tiny whoop um, and you don't want to be spamming on somebody else's frequency, you can just turn it off by doing this while being still able to have your battery plugged in. So that's really helpful. So it's not going to cycle through the channel, the band, if it's on or off. It's just simply going to show you it's off. And to simply reverse this, simply hold for five seconds again. Ignore the bandit once more and change it to equal sign. And just let it be. And then it will cycle through the frequency, the band, and whatnot. Yeah. Here's a quick sample footage of me just simply holding it around. Of course, I, I need to adjust the contracts and brightness, but this is just to get a feel of the view and the quality of the camera. It's, it's pretty good. Like, for all these features and stuff, <laughs> and everything done on one button like that's pretty impressive like I'm happy I chose this one versus the dip switches I thought if I went with the dip switches it would say wait but this is very handy I like it 